Hello everybody and welcome back to Sharon's Vegan Kitchen. I'm actually making dinner tonight and I figured I will show you what I'm making. I have done this uh, video before. This is just carrots and little mini t uh, potatoes. And what I do is I coat them in extra virgin olive oil. And then I sprinkle, this is the key, this is the trick, Montreal steak seasoning and put it all over not too much because it's really spicy and then I put that all in the oven and oh my goodness that is an awesome vegetable dish you can obviously put any vegetables you want I just like carrots and potatoes and that's what I'm doing now I'm making a ton of it and I'll eat it throughout the weekend so hold on because I'm also making something else that I haven't done yet but I'm going to try it <laughs> one second all right, I forgot to tell you, we actually have to put it in the oven. <laughs> I set my oven to 400. It's probably a little too high, but I'm going to cook it high. Maybe I'll turn it a little bit lower uh, a little bit later, but I just cook it until the vegetables are the way I like them. And the potatoes are nice and soft and the carrots are just right. So that's it. Okay, so that's it for that. And now I will do my other meal. All right, guys, so now for my next thing that I'm going to make. This is something that I haven't done with the vegan uh, chicken alternative, but this is Italian dressing. This is vegan Italian dressing. There's nothing in here uh, that's not vegan. And then just regular mashed potato flakes, the instant mashed potatoes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my hands because because I am. So I'm taking, I have chicken here that I'm using, the Gardein, and I'm going to coat it in Italian dressing, just like you would if you were going to do like a chicken cutlet. But we're going to use, instead of egg, we're going to use Italian dressing. And instead of breading, we are going to use mashed potato flakes. And you're going to make sure you coat it really good if you like the potatoes, which I do. I absolutely love the potatoes. And then I'm going to do it again. I'm going to give it a second coating. And I have no idea how this is going to come out, but I am going to try. I used to make this a billion years ago before I was vegan, so I haven't done it this way. <clears throat> All right, so then I'm going to take this. And I'm going to put it into my hot oil. And while that's going, I'm going to do another one. Just going to coat it here. Really good with the yummy Italian dressing. I come up with these weird recipes for you guys. <laughs> I'm really a junk food eater. I don't like too many vegetables and stuff. I like comfort food. That's my thing. So being vegan, I was afraid that I would have to give up my comfort food, but I did not. I have all my comfort foods. So anyone who is afraid of uh, trying to be vegan, don't be. There's everything in the world that you can have. Okay. Put this in the oil. Do another one. And that's going to fry up really, really good. And you're going to love the fried uh, mashed potatoes with the Italian dressing. And then I'll, I could have uh, my veggies also, my carrots. But I just realized I'm having potato here and potato in the oven. That's a lot of potato. <laughs> Starch City. I have it all over my hands. Okay. There we go. 
Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Wash my hands off. Maybe I'll turn my flame down a little bit. So I just put regular oil in the uh, pan. Let's see if I have something to turn them. Probably burning it. Yeah, of course I burnt it. Of course I did. I had the flame up too high. But it's okay. It works. And then you just cook it until the uh, until it's all fried up and your chicken alternative is cooked. And then you just take it out and put it on a uh, plate with some paper towel. Drain off the oil. And there you go. You got it. I'm going to add more potato here. And it is so good. It's just something a little bit different. That's all. Well, maybe a lot different. Alright, that looks about done. So I'm going to take it out, put it on the paper towel, get drain off the um, all that oil. And then even the extra that's in the oil, the you know the uh, the potato and Italian dressing, that's good just to eat on its own to tell you the truth. It really tastes good once it's all uh, drained. I just drain it on the paper. So yeah, there's mashed potato Italian dressing, chicken alternative, yumminess. <laughs> Alright, hold on, let's go get the vegetables. Let's see how the vegetables are doing. They are cooking. Mmm, it smells so good. Oh my goodness. So what I do, I got one more piece here to cook up. But what I do is I take whatever was left over with the Italian dressing and my mashed potato flakes. Again, I'm doing this with one hand, and I actually brought my tripod up, but I didn't feel like using it. So I take this, and then I put this in the oil, and just fry that up, because I like the fried potato. All right, so let's let that cook. I am hungry, guys. I am really hungry. All right, so that one is cooking up good. This little bowl that I made, I flattened it out, so I made like a little potato patty. Try to flip that. <laughs> there we go. And then I'll just fry that up. Get all the oil off. And that is frying up good. So I always try to show you quick and easy recipes, not where you have to have so much prep time and takes a long time to make. I know everyone's on the run, and a lot of you are on the run and you just want to eat quick like myself. So um, these are just easy recipes. So one second and I'll have it all done. So actually my vegetables are almost done. I just uh, opened it up a little while ago just to move them around a little bit. And I think they are almost done. And the way you can tell you stick your fork in it, and this is perfect actually. Ow, I just burnt myself. Ow, ow, ow. Don't do that guys. Do not put your finger on that. Don't do what I just did. And the carrot is perfect. Actually, they're they're done. So I'm going to take them out and my meal is complete. So there you have it. Here is my Gardein chicken alternative coated in 
Italian dressing and mashed potato instant uh, flakes and that's and fried in uh, deep fried in oil so that's really good and then my vegetables what I did was mix these vegetables up in some extra virgin olive oil in a um, in a bowl a big bowl and then I put it right into this uh, pan when I after I put the Montreal steak seasoning on all over it not too much because it does get spicy and then you have all your veggies all cooked and there's my meal and it only took no more than like I don't know 25 minutes the whole thing half an hour the most from beginning to end and there you go that's all you need <laughs> bye guys hope you like it